video, I'm going to introduce you to enabling subscription licensing for Cisco Catalyst 8000V autonomous mode, that is for non-SD-WAN devices. In addition to that, we have also included a workflow for Cisco Catalyst 8000V customers with Equinix to open a support ticket with Cisco. Once you are logged in into fabric.equinix.com, go to the Network Edge menu and select Create Virtual Device. As you can see, we now have a new licensing model under the Catalyst 8000V standalone or autonomous mode offering. The subscription mode of license allows customers to consume the C8KV in a pay-as-you-go mode. For the purpose of this demo, I will go ahead and select single device as device type. Then select the device location, choose your billing account and click on the next button. You will now see subscription as new licensing option. Select subscription and then select the device resources, software package and software version. I can choose between the different software package under the DNA licensing model. The tier T2 is supported for all cores, whereas the tier T3 is supported only through six and eight cores through the DNA advantage package. You can read more about the different bandwidth tiers from learn more link. You will see the corresponding pricing change depending on the software package and the bandwidth tier of choice. Next, enter the device details and select the interfaces and add emails for receiving the device status notifications and then select the term length. We will now add additional details such as add users, SSH, RSA public keys, access control list templates and additional internet bandwidth if any and then click next. Now we'll review and accept the order terms and then we can click create virtual device. The device is now being provisioned. A Network Edge customer who has a Cisco Catalyst 8000V deployed with a subscription license may need to troubleshoot or diagnose a network issue with a Cisco device. To open a tag case with Cisco, you have a couple of options. You can click on the support option on the top right and choose open a support case and fill the required details and open a tag case with Cisco. Alternatively, you can navigate to virtual device inventory and click on open Cisco tag case under the device details. As part of opening the tag case workflow, you can enter your contact details, choose the tag location and provide details pertaining to trouble ticket. After providing the details, you will have to check box to I acknowledge and open a Cisco tag case and then submit the request Cisco tag case. You will receive an email notification from Cisco tag with the tag case number and the contact information of the tag engineer who will be working on your case. That completes this demo. Thanks for watching. Thank you.